I'm Tina Renee, host of Tina Renee's Dollhouse. You've got to tune into our new show. We're going to be interviewing actors, actresses, musical entertainment, chefs, good food, fun, and laughter. You won't want to miss this. Come on into the Dollhouse and let's see what we're talking about today. My name is Catherine Lloyd Burns and I am a neighborhood chef. There's the peel. Ah, okay. A little bit more simpler process than the uh mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, so we gotta get the seeds out. Okay, so now what we'll do. Oh, we'll do that later. We have one clean plate for cleaning. Okay. So we'll <laughs> cut this. Like this. So not too big, not too small. And we'll dump it in this bowl. Mm -hmm. And we're going to roast it for, I don't know, 10 or 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now that we have all this squash cut up, we're going to douse it with olive oil. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to put some salt in it. Some pepper. And then we're going to pop and mix it up. And then we're going to go on these roasting pans right here, which are lined with um, a reusable like, parchment paper. Uh -huh. Once you get it peeled. The lady who wrote the cookbook that I'm kind of doing this from works in a restaurant. I think she has a, um, a staff of people who prep for her. Um, I'm lacking. Yeah. <laughs> Which I had so these are going to go in here with me. And that's that. So what makes the soup a little more flavorful than an average just vegetable soup mm -hmm. is number one like I said the candy that we're going to make later and put on top mm -hmm. and it has toasted um, fennel seeds in it mm -hmm. so you take some fennel seeds and you toast them in a pan um, and there's a heat you know there's some heat on underneath and in a couple seconds you'll start to smell them and that's when it's done and this is a step that you don't have to do but it actually Really and after they're toasted, I'm going to smush them. Oh, <laughs> so, so they're done. And now I'm just going to pour them in here. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to... Now we'll put in um, some kind of honey. You're working really hard. I'm enjoying it. It's fine. <laughs> no worries. Okay, so into this um, butter and olive oil, we're going to add these chilies mm -hmm. and a couple bay leaves and some thyme. And I'm just going to throw it in like this, because you can pull it out later. 
And then we're going to put in all these onions. And that's going to do that. And then we have to put this in. <laughs> okay, so I was impatient and that butter wasn't really hot enough. But it's okay because uh, it's going to cook really slowly. It's going to kind of... It'll make them, it'll make the onions sweeter. Um, so the squash is done. Mm -hmm. And where are my oh, I'm there. So then the squash is just going to go right in here. So easy. But because it roasted and it got kind of um, caramelized, it has a, an added layer mm -hmm. of food flavor. <laughs> now, if you're in a hurry and you want, huh? Uh -huh. Oh. I'm just watching. That. If you're in a hurry and you want to do this and you don't want to roast it first, you don't have to. Mm -hmm. It just won't. All right. So this smells so good. I can't even believe how good it smells. <laughs> and the vermouth has reduced. See, it's not really there anymore. Now I'm just going to add a lot of broth and you could do vegetable broth. That sounds, nice. that sounds good, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. I know it doesn't really look that good though. Squared. Um, <laughs> and I want to turn this back up to high. This is gross. It doesn't sound nice. <laughs> okay. Awesome. It's done. Now, all these good things are just going to float in there. Mm -hmm. I turn the heat up to high, and it's going to do its thing for like 20 minutes. Paprika and hot pepper. It's just kind of like a pinch of all of them and salt. Mm -hmm. And then it's going to have the pumpkin seeds. Okay. So, the way that we do it is we turn on the stove. Okay, so we got the melted butter mm -hmm. and we're going to add some sugar. And we're going to add these pumpkin seeds. We're going to add all those spices. And then in a couple minutes, the seeds are going to start popping. Mm -hmm. And that's what we want. So here's the paprika and the chili and the cumin and a little salt. And... go on, yeah, they go on a plate where they turn into like brittle, basically, like peanut brittle, mm -hmm. but obviously not with peanuts, with pumpkin seeds. And then that is what you crumble on top of your soup to get your vegetarian who doesn't eat vegetables to eat her soup. Okay, so that's the, the whole hard part is done. Now we just let this Cook simmer because now it's come to a boil, so you can turn the heat down for 20 minutes mm -hmm. and then we'll pulverize it. And then it's soup time. So it has been cooking and now it's ready for the last phase. And the one thing that we want to do is pull out 
the um, strands or the branches, whatever, the stems from the um, thyme. And we're going to pull out most of these peppers. I might leave one of them in there because they are very flavorful. Oh, and we don't, we're going to take out the bay leaves. Okay. But they did their job. And I don't need to do any more work. I love this thing. Okay. You ready? <laughs> Woo! Let it rip. Otherwise, it would have splashed on our faces. Okay, now we have to do the rest of it. You have to do it in batches. And you could do that in a blender. It doesn't matter. Now we'll do this part. <laughs> Alright, so here is this delicious soup which comes from Suzanne Goins cookbook, Sunday Suppers. Mm -hmm. And we put your spoon in there. Delicious. It's very good. It has a little spicy kick to it at the end. I like that. And it's good. It'll be really good tomorrow, too. That was delicious. Thanks, very good, Kathy. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hi, I'm Jody Polovich. And I'm Joyce John. And welcome to Neighborhood Chefs. That's right, it's season two. So excited. We have new chefs this season. We have returning chefs. New recipes, new ways of cooking. New cuisines, vegan, gourmet, organic, comfort food, Indian. Seafood, and we've even got mini chefs. We've got the little ones in the kitchen. So adorable, I can't wait for that part. So make sure you join us exclusively at ibchannel.tv on October the 6th. Good stuff. Once again, I'm Joyce John. And I'm Jody Polovich. And we, we hope, hope to, to see, see you in the, in the kitchen. kitchen.